From our live concert at St. James Cathedral, we hear one of the most famous pieces in the organ repertoire, the Toccata on Tue Petra, or Thou Art the Rock. In the typical French Romantic style, the piece begins with very fast repeated chords in the hands, and the pedal takes the melody. The piece is built on the text, Thou Art the Rock, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against thee. It's a very great joy to be here this evening in Toronto. I'd like now to play for you 
some tiny little sounds of the organ. So often we hear the big sounds and we miss the little ones. So I'd like to play for you the Haydn five flute clocks. There are about five of these little clocks left in the world and they contain little wooden pipes and these little cl uh, clocks play melodies written for them by the greatest composers uh, of that day, Beethoven, Haydn, and Mozart.
It is my pleasure to welcome to the Joy of Music today the St. James Cathedral Choir under the direction of Dr. Giles Bryant. The choir consists of 18 singing boys and 12 men, which can be heard often on television, recording, and in concerts. But its main function is to sing weekly for two Sunday services throughout the year and for special occasions in the cathedral. We are taping for the joy of music this evening, and it's a very great pleasure for me to have on the program the Cathedral Choir of Men and Boys under the direction of uh, Dr. Giles Bryant. They're a wonderful choir, and I thank them for being. I have had the joy of producing now over 300 programs of the joy of music on the great organs of the world and in many of the great churches. And uh, as I do these programs, I always have to find uh, new pieces to play. So I'm always going through old stacks of music here and there all over the world. And I happen to have found a very interesting piece of music not long ago that I had never heard played before or never seen. It's the Concerto in A Minor by Petro Jan for organ and orchestra. And Pedro Juan was Italian, but he spent the last 17 years of his life as organist of St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. And uh, he has written the very famous Jesu Bambino that we hear at Christmas time. But this evening I'm going to play for you the last movement of this concerto. And since it's written for organ and orchestra, and we do not have an orchestra here, I have arranged it for solo organ. Now it begins with very fast repeated chords on almost full organ, and it ends with a terrific pedal cadenza. Uh, the organist is asked to do things probably you've never seen done before on the organ, and uh, I just hope they haven't polished the organ bench too much.
Today on The Joy of Music, we have brought you a program entitled A Musical Visit to Toronto, with excerpts from a live concert held at St. James Cathedral, with my special guests, the Cathedral Choir of Gentlemen and Boys, under the direction of Dr. Giles Bryant. Oh, praise ye the Lord, praise Him in His sanctuary, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. <laughs>